Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about Emma Roberts specifically. Now, if you've been on the internet these past few days, you'll probably have seen the meme that has Emma Roberts, there's Ariana, there's Emma Roberts, and then there's uh, there's another person, I can't remember who at this given moment in time. The meme format was basically saying, can you imagine the bullying on this set? And it was in reference to a season of American Horror Story, I believe. I stopped watching that like I wanna say like a billion seasons ago, just I kind of gave up on it to be honest, but they were referencing being on set with these given people. Emma Roberts being one of them, and she's the one we're focusing on, so forget anyone else in the meme. So basically, people seem to have forgotten, and I don't really blame them for this because I don't really think about Emma Roberts often. She's not, and that's not really shade though. But does sound shady. I don't think of her that often, mainly because I feel like if you don't really watch American Horror Story, there's nothing really to remind you of her existence. She's not an actress that is in God knows how many movies, as far as I know. But the thing we need to remember about Emma Roberts, if there's anything we need to remember about Emma Roberts, is that in this conversation we're about to have about alleged bullying or whatever, and there is some concrete information there, let us be clear. Let us remember what happened with Evan Peters. What happened with Evan Peters, I'm gonna briefly go over, just in case you didn't know or in case you don't remember. They stayed together for quite a while. They started dating towards, I think, the end of 2012. It's unclear when in 2012. And they were dating until 2019, though it was on and off. They like broke up and got back together a bunch of times, which in and of itself, a very bad sign considering what happens here. There was a domestic dispute between Emma Roberts and Evan Peters. When authorities arrived, Peters had suffered from a bloody nose and a bite mark. They arrested Roberts on suspicion of domestic abuse. 26-year-old Peters opted not to press charges against the then 22-year-old Roberts, who was released shortly after. Following Roberts' release, paparazzi photographed her sobbing in Peter's arms after the fight. The couple released a statement via their publicity reps stating it was an unfortunate incident and misunderstanding. Miss Roberts was released after questioning and the couple are working together to move past it. I really do have to call in the whole let's switch the genders police here because if there were a man and a woman and there's some kind of altercation and the woman came out with a bite mark and a bloody nose, what conclusion would you come to? I mean, if they were the only people in the house, I doubt this person just like ran into a wall and got a bloody nose. How did they get a bite mark? Unless it was kinky times, which I don't think it was. You know, it's it's really hard for me to, to find any benefit of the doubt here, especially with how, I mean, like her starting to cry in his arms when she came out of, you know, like being held by the police. That doesn't necessarily mean guilt, of course, but in this particular situation, looking at the context, so anyway, we have that as background. You make of that what you will, whether you think she's guilty of domestic abuse or not, that is the framework we're working with. So for me, her being potentially a bully on set, not surprising. I mean, also she is a, she is a Nepo baby. Like, I mean, she's related to Julia Roberts. It's not some big coincidence or some emerging star that happened here. And I don't even dislike her as an actress, though it's hard for me to separate domestic abusers from actors once I see them as domestic abusers. They're not actors anymore, they're just domestic abusers. But anyway, I don't think she's a bad actress, but let us be real about her connections within the acting world as well. And again, take that with a grain of salt. If you think she's excellent and she deserves all of it, cool beans. Anyway, let us get to the point. We can talk about Ryan Murphy's sets. Uh, there's a lot to be said there. And even just Angelica Ross, who worked on set with Emma Roberts in American Horror Story 1984, she has a whole video on her Instagram. And I didn't want to include it here because here we're focusing on something else and I don't want to just include her video, which includes so much stuff that is like beyond the scope of this video, which like I said, we can discuss Ryan Murphy's sets. Anyway, Anyway, Angelica Ross alleges that Emma Roberts intentionally misgendered her on the set of American Horror Story 1984. The two appeared opposite one another in the ninth season of Ryan Murphy's horror anthology. Angelica Ross has taken to social media to voice disturbing allegations of transphobia in a toxic workplace against her ex-American Horror Story co-star Emma Roberts. Sharing an experience on Instagram Live, the actress spoke about an interaction that left her blood boiling after Roberts allegedly misgendered her while on set of the Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchuk 
created horror anthology series. In her Instagram post, Ross walks followers through the events leading up to Robert's alleged comment, explaining exactly where the duo was and when it took place, presumably alluding to one of the season's directors, John J. Gray. Ross says that she and Roberts were in the middle of a conversation when the latter called the episode's director over, jokingly saying Angelica's being mean. When Gray told the stars to get back to work, addressing them both as ladies, Ross claims that Robert corrected him, saying, don't you mean lady? Taken aback by this, Ross claims that she was trying to process the offensive comments allegedly made by Roberts. Stuck between a rock and a hard place, Ross explains she was forced to compose herself as she knew that if she were to speak up, she would be viewed as the problem. Going deeper into why she was certain this would be the outcome, Ross alleged that this was far from the first time something like this had happened with Roberts. I know this because there was someone who spoke up about what Roberts was doing and they got repercussions from it. Not her, they did. From this moment on, on. During filming, Ross says that she never again interacted with Roberts outside of scenes they were both involved with, noting that Roberts could feel the energy coming off of me, Ross adds, that while her co-star tried to get to the bottom of the energy shift, she stayed quiet, adding Roberts allegedly played mind games with everyone on set. So the update with all of this is Angelica Ross actually posted on her Twitter on September 20th saying, thank you Roberts Emma for calling and apologizing. Recognizing your behavior was not that of an ally. I will leave the line open to follow up on your desire to do better and support social justice causes with your platform. An apology is great, excellent. I hope that that helps Angelica Ross process things, move on, whatever needs to be done. The apologies for the person to have. The one thing I will say about the apologies, boy is this timing interesting. It's not like there were months, years, or anything that could have been done prior. Now, Granted, maybe Emma Roberts did not realize what she did, so she did not know what to apologize for. That's with the benefit of the doubt that I'm sprinkling in today just due to pure exhaustion, so benefit of the doubt. I think there's something to be said about private apologies in the sense of you can make a public apology too if you want, but I do think it's a lot more valuable when people just actually fucking call each other or something because the apology isn't purely, purely for PR reasons, though, you want the public to know you apologized, right? I think that's a completely normal thing. By the way, that's not me being shady. It's just like, if I fucked up and I apologize to the person, I would also want the public to know that I apologize to the person so they know that I'm trying to make things right. You know what I mean? Just so like, if we're gonna have a narrative out there, we should have all the parts of the narrative. Does that make sense? But I do think it's nice to have a part of it that remains private. So we know she apologized. We don't know exactly what she said or what was said. And I think that's okay. And that's potentially probably better for communication to be entirely honest. That's where we're at right now. Now, Emma Roberts, not that many people are even really talking about this anymore because there have been other scandals going on. But I did think this was interesting because, because what Ross said, this was not the first time that there was an issue with Roberts, like there were other people who did. And I mean, like I've seen things here and there about bratty behavior, but like really I'm not going to sit here and report on she might have once scoffed at someone, like no. But I do wonder what's going on there because it doesn't seem like she's super well liked. Regardless, this whole Angelica Ross thing is also a mess because when I looked this up and I literally just put Emma Roberts, I think, in Twitter, there are a lot of people congratulating her for this. And that is so alarming to me because what, <sighs> I'm too tired for this truly. Like what are you congratulating someone for? You know, and I'm, I'm not gonna go into a whole monologue here, which I really could, but I'm not going to. But it's like, you're congratulating someone for not doing just a very basic thing, which is referring to someone the way they want to be referred to. It is as simple as calling someone by their desired nickname. You realize it's not more complicated than that. Like in class, people call me GC, not Julia, not Julia Cristina, GC, just faster easier. That's just how I go. It's that easy to use the right pronouns. Like it really is not that hard. I think it's actually harder to remember what someone wants to be called and calling them something outside of that. But regardless, I think it's very mentally unwell to congratulate someone for doing things like that. It's like, congratulations, you're upsetting someone for no reason and it doesn't bring you any benefit at all. Good for you. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think that Emma Roberts is a bully on set based on the information we have between the domestic violence and this situation with the transphobia? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.